Can your battery operated golf cart consistently pull the front tires off the ground no matter if you have a full or empty battery? We took a used golf cart from the golf course, stripped it down completely, put a lift on it, took out all the old batteries, put in a new Navitas AC motor, and the key to this is a Roy Pow 48 volt cell that is lithium iron phosphate. That gives out 250 amps worth of current and allows that Navitas motor in the back to give us power instantly and allows this machine to go almost 40 miles an hour. Take a look at how clean and open this battery compartment is on this club car precedent. From the factory, you'd have multiple lead acid batteries in here that not only weigh a lot, but also take up a lot of room. In this case, we have one single box that's 100 pounds from Roy Pow. This is their new S51105L, 250 amps of continuous output. It allows you to take your stock cart and get up different hills at an amazing pace, or it allows you to take a slightly built cart like this one with the Navitas motor and get some amazing torque and speed out of it. This is a very clean setup and we have a lot of different things inside of here because of the different motor, but you can see we just have the cables running in. You have an on and off switch here which is very simple. There is a battery vent over here, and then you push and hold this battery switch for three seconds, and it will turn itself off. You can push and hold, and it will come back on. It's one more thing that just allows this unit to be completely turned off and managed. You're hearing some beeping from our Navitas controller that is also controlled here. We don't have this mounted exactly yet, but we can turn the acceleration up and down. We can turn the speed up and down. We can turn the regeneration up and down. Very cool setup from Navitas. This Roy Pow battery though is what brings it all together. You can see we have some things hooked up here, which is going to be a battery fuel meter that's mounted on the dash. There's a lot of controls and different ways of charging this. This actually comes with its own smart charger, so you can get rid of that old smart charger that you have from Club Car. Plus, on average, this will charge up in about two hours from half charge. If it's completely dead, it is about a five hour charge. That is much, much faster than you'll find on a normal golf cart. With this cart's configuration, with the lift, the 23 inch tall tires, and the Navitas motor, we're getting approximately 36 miles per hour per our phone GPS on this in most normal conditions. We've gone faster downhill, we've gone slightly slower uphill, but 36 is almost a guarantee for you. With that said, there's more draw, more amp draw because of the AC motor in the back. So our mileage that we're getting out of this is less. We're getting 32 miles on average for 90% use of that battery, meaning we still have 10% left at the end, which is approximately one bar. We don't think anyone's going to take this out in normal use and drain it till they're completely dead. So 32 miles is a great place to look at where you're going to land with some serious upgrades on your cart. Now, if you're putting this on a stock cart, cart, you're going to get upwards of 50 miles out of it. And that's amazing. I don't know how many people who want to sit on a stock cart doing 18 miles per hour for 50 miles, but you have that option. This is sweet, but the better part of it is it will charge back up so quickly that for most cases, it's under two hours to get you back to a full charge if you've just been using it in a normal situation. Go out golfing, 18 holes, plug it in for an hour, you're ready to go back out golfing and no issue. You're going to visit neighbors, come back, 12 mile trip, plug it in two hours, you are ready to get back up and go. And as I said before, this still has all the torque being built as it does at full battery, as it does at 33%, as it does at 15%. We can still pull the front tires off the ground at will from a stop at any of those charge rates. And I think that is what makes this battery amazing. And beyond all those advantages, you're also getting a much better life of this battery. It has a five-year warranty on it and is going to last an average of 10 years with 3,500 charges on that battery pack. That's amazing. Lead acid is not going to do that. You might get five years out of your lead acid batteries if you properly maintain them, but you're going to see a significant decrease in power as you get closer to that five years. With that said, there is a price to pay for this convenience, this longevity, and 
all the torque that's going to come with that smaller battery pack. You're going to pay somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000 for that battery pack and its smart charger. Is it worth it? To many, yes, because over that 10 year period, that's at least two sets of batteries for lead acid. And beyond that, you're going to get all the advantages of faster charging, much greater torque and everything else that we've already talked about. So it seems to make a lot of sense for many people who are looking to really upgrade their golf carts and have a lot of fun. That 250 amp output, continuous output of this battery is a blast to drive and gives you Tesla-like takeoffs. The heart of this golf cart is going to be the Navitas motor in the back in the Roy Pow battery pack under the seat. Now, if you're worried at all about the brand Roy Pow, don't be. They make a lot of different battery packs for forklifts, trolling motors, golf carts, and also dedicated different batteries that you can use in multiple different things. Check them out. They have a lot of dealers around the USA. If you're looking for information on this, just as far as what we did to this golf cart, you can ask those questions below. But let me assure you, this guy is an absolute blast to drive. And I don't know that I'd wanna go much faster than 40 miles an hour in one of these small golf carts. You get to a point where you want a helmet and the uh, steering on it is a little bit twitchy, but it is definitely fun. I look forward to your comments below. As always, give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.